Hello everyone, I'm Taylor Bambico. For today's video, we're going to take a look at an early version of the CZ-75. Now, of course, before I go any further, I'll ensure the pistol is clear. We're good. Let's continue, shall we? So while this particular CZ-75 is an early variant, it is not the earliest, which is referred to as the short rail. This particular CZ-75 is what's referred to as the pre-B variant. In one aspect, a pre-B CZ-75 is a model that lacks the firing pin block. There is a little more backstory on what a pre-B CZ-75 is, which I will address in a future video. But first, I'm gonna go over this pistol a little bit more. So this particular 75 was produced in 1984 in then Czechoslovakia. It is not the blue finished, however it is the black enamel paint. As far as I can tell, these are the original grips. However, in time, they will be replaced by reproduction grips made by Triple K Manufacturing, which I did put a pair of those on my 75B Retro. If you haven't seen that video, I will link that right here for everyone. I do have the original magazine with it. In fact, it does have part of the serial number engraved on it. Another great thing about the PB for the most part is Modern magazines from the 75B will work in the firearm. However, I have noticed the ones by Metgar, at least right now, do not work in the firearm. However, that's probably due to the magazine break in the pistol. All the magazine break does on the 75 is prevent the magazine from dropping free, which in time I will replace so the magazine will just drop free all the way, which is pretty simple to do. Now, of course, the first thing you have to do after you pick up your new CZ-75, or new to me anyway, is I did have to go and shoot it a little bit. Believe it or not, that malfunction occurred before I even got to shoot it. Of course, I did put a little bit of oil on the rails just because the gun was bone dry when I got it. One thing that's for sure is the trigger pull on this fire is much better than the one on both my 75B Retro and my regular 75B. One thing, of course, I'm going to change on this fire is besides removing the magazine brake and installing a regular flat brake, I'm going to take it into CZ Custom and have them re-blue it. And once I get it back from them, I will be doing another video with this firearm just to show you an update on it. Well, anyway, that was just going to be a short video on a pre-B CZ-75. If you enjoyed it, remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Click that bell icon to so notify when I upload new content. Leave any comments you have in the section below, and have a good day. See ya! Did you really think I was going to make you wait the whole time? Well, unfortunately, how I did say in the earlier part of this video that I was going to have this pre-B CZ-75 re-blued, that didn't happen. Now, of course, before I continue, I'll re-clear the firearm. Got the flat magazine brake put in. We're good. Let's continue again, shall we? So initially I picked this up back on February 9th, went and shot it real quick, made the video that I was going to have it re-blued, got it cleaned up, took it into CZ Custom the very next day, asked him how long it would take, it'd be about a month. Well, turns out this pistol's not gonna get re-blued at all. It still has the black enamel finish, which I don't care for. That was one reason why I took it into them to have it re-blued. One thing I did not tell them, but was aware of is that this pistol has no import marks. That was the very reason I bought it is because I wanted to have a pre-B CZ-75 that had no import marks and was blued. Anyway, fast forward to Monday the 13th of February, 
get a call from them and say, got a little bit of issue with that CZ you brought in because it has no import marks and it's one of the earlier pre-BCC 75s. It's relatively rare. And because it is so rare, they recommended not blue in it because it would devalue the firearm significantly. So when I went back to CZ Custom to pick up the firearm, the individual there was telling me how when it went in the back and was fully disassembled, they were looking at it and they go, we don't want to re-blue this at all. While I thought the firearm had been shot quite a bit, according to CZ Custom, that's just not the case. In addition to the internals, with the exception of a few scratches and nicks on the slide and frame, the firearm is in overall great condition. They were telling me about how much these are going for on Gunbroker with import marks, and being this one doesn't have any, they're like, yeah, we really don't want to re-blue it. One thing I did tell them is that when this firearm was up on auction on Gunbroker, it was mistitled, it was labeled as CZ-77. Might have been just a simple typo, but it does say 75 on the slide, so I don't know how that would have happened. So this firearm is not gonna get re-blued, and the fact that it has both the original grips and two original magazines, one of which is serialized to the firearm, at least partially, yeah, this gun's not gonna get re-blued at all. Earlier in this video, I did mention how the 16 round magazines do work in the pre-B, at least in this one anyway, but mech guards don't. Well, that's not entirely true. This is a 16 round Mechgar magazine. However, not all Mechgar magazines will work. Here's another Mechgar magazine. Now it will go in, but it will not drop free. Slide would lock back though, but I actually have to push the magazine catch and pull down on the magazine to remove it. This particular Mechgar magazine, it goes in partially, but it takes a lot of strength to get it out. So this one will not work in this preview. Here's a standard 16 round magazine, which came with my original 75B. Works just fine. However, some of the 16 round magazines don't work. So it's kind of hit or miss with this one. So for example, here's just a regular 16 round magazine that's not Mechgar. Goes in, doesn't drop free. Does lock back. Hmm. Yeah, doesn't drop free. Weird. Obviously the 15 round magazines work. So having discovered that, I wonder, will the preview magazines go down in value? Honestly, I don't think they will because they're original. It's kind of nice to have one of the earlier magazines with an earlier model of the 75s. Here's one I purchased several years ago for $80. I've seen these now go for about twice that. Little story about trying to find these magazines. Where I used to live, there was a gun show always going on with a guy who had a booth called Gun Clips, I believe. We always told people when they came in asking us for magazines at the store, if we don't have it, try him. If he doesn't have it, well, you're pretty much out of luck. So of course, one day while I was at the show, I went up to him and asked if he has any of the early CZ-75 magazines, and he said, unfortunately, I don't have any. It's a weird feeling when you're looking for a magazine and you just can't find it, but of course, these are relatively harder to find. But now because the, not this one, but because the Mechgar magazines will sell them anyway and the regular 16 round magazines will work in the pre-Bs, kind of makes it a little bit easier. One thing I did want to know is whether or not one of the earlier magazines will work in a newer CZ-75. This is the 75B Retro. Let's just see if it works. Hmm. Nope, not working. Let's try a regular model CZ-75. Well, 75B. Nope, didn't think it would. So anyway, back on topic with this firearm. Now that I have a CZ-75B, a 75B Retro, a Pre-B that was made in 1991, and this Pre-B which was made in 1984, I guess the only one left to get is a short rail. So one thing I will clarify about my CZ-75B video, which I will link right here if you haven't seen it yet. So the first thing I do say in that video is that these firearms were first produced in 1976. First produced in 1976 in the former Czechoslovakia, known today as the Czech Republic, the CZ-75 was a short recoil 9mm double and single action pistol. Half truth to that, there was a limited run of the original CZ-75 made in 1975, there was more produced in 1976, however the production really began to ramp up in 1977. I have been looking around for a short rail, there's been a couple that were up on Gunbroker in the past few months, both of them were made in 1979, 
And for one I'm reading, I don't really want to go with one that was made in 79 or one of the later 78s. And the reason for that is there were issues with the frames cracking. I first heard about that a couple years ago and talking to someone who worked with an importer and they had brought some in. And they did see some issues with them cracking, of course, just hearsay in that situation. In the video that Larry Vickers put up, he did mention that as well. And looking into it a bit more, it was the later short rails which did begin to crack. And the reason behind that, from what I'm finding is, the frames made in 1975, 76, 77, and most of 1978 were forged frames. Apparently the last 200 made in 1978, those made in 1979 and 1980, were cast frames. I'm still looking into it, however if I had to take a guess, the reason they went from a forged frame to a cast frame was cost and production time. I will be looking into it a bit more though. Of course one thing I would take into consideration is, when CZ did notice that, what condition were those short rails in? How much were they being shot? Were they being thrown around? Were they just being tested to see what they could take before they would break? No idea. Of course, on the topic of a short rail, I'm surprised when CZ made the retro model of the earlier short rail, why didn't they make the slide match the earlier ones as well? But who knows, maybe CZ will do that one day. And if they do, all I would suggest is instead of the black poly coat finish or whatever this is, just do blued. I mean, really, this would look better blued, and so would this one, because in all honesty, the black enamel, it's just ugly, and I really hate it. That was also the initial reason I wanted to have this re-blued, because I want a blued pre-BCZ75 with no import marks, but again, if it's going to devalue it that much, and I just want to hold on to it, we'll just leave it as is. Well, anyway, that was my video on a pre-BCZ75, if you enjoyed it, remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Click that bell icon so you're notified when I upload new content. Leave any comments, have in the section below, and have a good day. See ya!